Good morning, it's so good to be with you today. Well, we have in the new year started our new disciplines book uh, filled with devotionals for the year. And we use these as a springboard, if you will, for our daily devotionals that we share with you. Well, today's passage comes from the book of Acts chapter 8, and it talks about new believers in Samaria who had been baptized, um, and a couple of the disciples went to be with them and to pray with them that they might then receive the Holy Spirit. So almost like this two-step process in growing in their faith. Well, when I think about baptism in the Methodist Church, you know, we just baptized um, sweet little Briar, Pastor Hale's grandbaby. Um, we typically baptize infants in the Methodist Church, and we commit to surround them with God's love and to be an example to them in the faith that they might grow in the faith. And then we go through a process of confirmation with our teenagers that they might fully understand what that faith means so that they can choose that faith for themselves. Um, we don't always talk a lot about the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit is vibrant and alive and at work in our lives. Um, and haven't, the Holy Spirit has an impact on us and the way we grow. But what's important to know that as believers, we're constantly growing. We, we maybe have experienced baptism. We, uh, we maybe have prayed for the Holy Spirit to dwell within our hearts. Maybe we have participated in a Bible study that has um, allowed us to grow in our understanding and in our faith and maybe has propelled us in our spiritual growth. You know, sometimes we really feel empowered and alive and excited about growing in our faith and sharing our faith with others. And sometimes we, we don't. Sometimes we hit a little bit of a lull. But we need to be reminded that we are constantly growing, that our faith is constantly um, maturing and evolving. And, um, and God always has something for us to learn, some way for us to grow. Well, when I think back about baptism, uh, we'll celebrate actually baptism of our Lord this coming Sunday in church. We sort of follow this progression of the Christian year. When I was in the Holy Land almost two years ago now, we went to the Jordan River and we had a time where we could remember our baptism. It was such a sweet, um, memorable experience. It was filled with people around us and a little bit chaotic, but um, to be able to have that time to remember my baptism, to remember um, my commitment to my faith was really empowering for them and, and for me and so meaningful for me. I hope you'll take time in this coming year to remember your baptism, to remember your faith, to think about the ways God might be growing you this year. How might you allow that Holy Spirit to dwell within your heart and to be active in your life? I hope you'll have a great day today.